The smell coming from the bottom of this fridge was unlike anything I've ever smelled before. Normally I do wear a full face respirator along with the rest of my PPE for my free cleaning since most of them are toxic hoarding situations. However, I've been to this place a few times before now to clean so I didn't think I would need it this time. However, I was very wrong. The power was out for a while during the last hurricane a few months ago and the fridge has not been cleaned out since. And unfortunately, this poor older woman does struggle severely with poor mental health. So there were a lot of strange items in the fridge and freezer that should not have been there but she felt compelled to put in there like like multiple old moldy coffee cups and half used cans of expired cat food. I feel absolutely horrible that this poor woman continued to use this fridge with fresh food along with the old moldy rotten food. Plus with the power being out for a while, there was a lot of liquid that ended up in the bottom of the fridge that turned into a really nasty slimy moldy sludge. The smell at this point was indescribable and absolutely broke my heart into pieces. She suffers mentally and physically, so cleaning this fridge would have been an impossible task for her. And I don't even want to think about what would have happened if I wasn't able to come help her. So I got all of the old moldy food out of the fridge and the slimy swamp water out of the bottom and I put that scrub daddy sif cream to work. I made sure I got in every single nook and cranny and I went through three scrub daddies alone. In the beginning I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to be able to bring this fridge back to life but I worked my magic once again and look at her sparkle now. Stay tuned to watch me clean the rest of her apartment and save her from eviction.